here in Georgia, but 29 states have relaxed marijuana restrictions, and eight have made recreational use of the drug legal. Well, there's a growing perception the drug is relatively harmless, but as the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin reports, one metro area cardiologist says that might not be true. We sat down to talk to Dr. Michael Balk. He's the head of the board of the American Heart Association's Metro Atlanta Southeast chapter. And Dr. Balk says we don't know exactly how smoking marijuana affects our heart health. But he says the limited science we do have shows there may be some real risks. Annette has been smoking marijuana every day for almost 40 years. She has no prescription for it. It's not legal in Georgia, but at 65, she can't imagine getting through her day without it. When I have a headache, I can, you know, puff marijuana and it'll take it away. If I have nausea, marijuana takes nausea away. And with polls showing most Americans now favor making marijuana legal, cardiologist Dr. Michael Ball, director of the Heart and Vascular Institute at Northside Hospital, says smoking the drug is not risk-free. He says marijuana can raise your heart rate, blood pressure, and trigger hormonal changes that can send you into fight-or-flight mode, especially in that first hour after you light up. They found that in the first hour after smoking, the risk of a cardiac event was probably four to five times higher than in the general population. And after about an hour, that risk goes down. And Dr. Balk says a 2016 study found that smoking marijuana may raise your risk of broken heart syndrome, a temporary weakening of the heart muscle that's usually brought on by sudden stress that can look and feel like a heart attack. And he says they saw this trend in young men smokers. So they don't have heart disease. They don't have blocked arteries. You'd expect them to be healthier. But in fact, they found the opposite. They actually had about a three times higher risk of cardiac arrest. Three times. It's impressive. Bach acknowledges the chance that you'll experience a cardiac event while smoking marijuana is pretty low. But I think the important take-home message for people is that if they are going to smoke and they develop chest pain, shortness of breath, chest pressure, don't ignore it. Seek medical care. And Dr. Balk says the research we do have is limited because the studies were observational, so they're not designed to prove cause and effect, and there are so many variables that can't be controlled in these studies. So he says it's impossible to say scientifically that smoking marijuana can definitely cause problems like broken heart syndrome at this point. For the Fox Medical Team, I'm Beth Galvin.